how still the water is oh my gosh i can't believe it guys this is a this is gonna be a great great day it's gonna be a bluebird day it's gonna be still we had like 40 mile an hour winds yesterday so this is such a contract everything's good to go on the boat let's get out there we're gonna catch a bunch of fish now as the boat lowers i wanted to talk about this real quick yeah, you know, I was asked to kind of explain some things to some people, um, and I think it's good. I think it's education. So, bait pop is not just about seeing it on live sonar, though that's number one. Obviously, why you would purchase bait pop, but also it's a carrier for the formulation. And there have been some videos now going out about actually putting this on the hook and the fish biting. So, guys, we're going to be fishing primarily with hair jigs. Here they are. I'm telling you, a lot of these are available on the website and they've been working incredible. One of the things I've really learned this year, probably the most important thing, is that slowing up the presentation is probably the most important thing to get a finicky fish to bite. And even not to get a fish, a fish that's not finicky, they're just going to absolutely slap it to death and, uh, and hammer it. So, sizing down to these small 132nd ounce jigs is a big deal. Um, and I love it. It's just a lot of fun. Now you have to wait for the jig to get down there, but a lot of these fish are shallow. We're talking six foot. So that's really nice. Um, but I, I can't get enough of it because they absolutely hammer it. It's almost every cast. As soon as I size up, as soon as I speed it up by adding a weight, I get a lot less action. And that's what I picked up on the guide trips big time. So a lot of the guide trips are learning how to throw a 132nd ounce jig with a 10 footer. And it's kind of funny because I'm going to tell you right now, this new 10 footer, it's the best out there and people love it and they don't want to let go of it. And, um, which is hard for me because it's the only one I have right now until I get the, the, the orders in. So those will be sold at three poundfishing.com. They're not there yet, but they will be. I'll let you know. And we will have a, a, uh, pre-order scenario when we know that they're on their way. So we're not going to totally pre-sell it. So we're going to start right here because we had a north wind and it was blowing through here like crazy and we're just going to troll right through here oh man it didn't take long that was the first drop of the day period and there is a nice solid eater as we call it here at our lake it's about an 11 inch fish nice thick back and of course we're letting them go but that's a right there that's a great start and look look what i'm using folks a 132nd ounce jig that fish was 10 foot down we've got 48 degree water temperatures which is what it's been uh, we have not found the the absolute ton of fish yet we just this is the first spot that was the absolute first drop and um, we were successful so it don't really matter it was a good fish good solid fish and we're just, right now, first thing I do in the morning, guys, is I go to the points of a main lake, and I would be looking for what point has the active fish on it. Or not active fish, just fish in general, really, what we're looking for. I mean, it's, uh, I haven't been on the water in a while, obviously. I've been down in Grenada, that was fantastic. And so, getting out here, trying to identify where the fish are before guide trips that are coming up. Oh, baby. That is a baby. That is a baby. Well, folks, we had to take a break. Had to do some work stuff. And we just got back out here. Same day, just a different time. We are now roughly in the evening. And we are flipping this 32nd ounce jig out there. And look at that pile of fish. This, this wind has done an absolute reverse. Here I am falling in right here. Has done an absolute reverse in the middle of the day from what it was this morning. Going exactly the opposite direction. And here I am falling right here. You can see it right here. There. Oh, we gotta get bigger fish than that. That is a monster. Not really. There it is falling in right there. You can see it clears day right there. Look 
looked like a good fish too. There's the first fish. And not the biggest fish. But a start. We finally found a bunch of fish though. There's our first fish. Look at that, man. These fish are way down the lake too. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's a good fish. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. That, that is legit. That's, a, that's our first legit fish on this episode. That's a great fish right there, guys. So the pre-spawn, I wouldn't say is here yet, but without a doubt, this is some great fishing. Wintertime fishing, even on my home lake, we're having a little bit of a struggle all day today. Big wind shifts, these type of things are gonna change the, the atmosphere. They're gonna change what these fish are doing. So they're moving back and forth. It's what we call a moving day on my home lake. But got the new three pound fishing rod. I got the sniping braid, everything's working. And uh, as the sun goes down, I'm hoping we're gonna have some some good activity. But there it is, bam! That's a good fish. One of the best on the pile, it looked like. We're gonna find out. Oh yeah! Like I said, I put this table, this uh, jacket on. I'm sorry, not table. This jacket. Look at that. That is a good fish right there. Let them go. Let them go. Three pound fishing. Let them go. And we're going to just vertical jig it and see what happens here. I'm right here. And this guy's nosing it up. As soon as he starts taking an interest, I'm going to move it. See how he really becomes more interested. And there he is. Didn't take much. Look how beautiful that is, folks. Good fish. Hey, you know, it's, a, it's an eater fish. Woohoo! That's it. Let him go. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, do me a favor, subscribe. Um, I found out that a majority of people aren't subscribers, which is interesting. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free, and you're gonna learn about everything that's going on in this absolute beast of a boat. This is. I, I gotta believe it's probably one of the most technological boats got all the tech on it that you could ever imagine two live scopes two solixes crappie brakes everything in terms of crappie fishing this boat is top of line we've got some things that are actually going to be added to it in the next couple episodes i can't wait to share that with you at up to this point which is kind of funny the only thing that i find useful out of the power poles is the fact that i get to use my crappie brakes so i've got to believe there's a cheaper alternative than power poles because those are kind of expensive they're great don't get me wrong they're great. They're fantastic when you use them, but I don't get to use them that much. So regardless, Bass Cat Links, I love my boat. People ask all the time, how's your boat doing when they get on there? Um, can't say enough good things. So guide trips, check it out. Thanks for watching. That was a long talk there. Have a great one, guys.